Today we're going to look at this Lenovo 2-in-1 tablet running uh, Windows 10. has the M5 processor. See here, 6Y541.1G CPU, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gig of hard drive, and 11.6 inch display, 4 cell battery. Taking a look at the uh, what's when you open up the box, what you see on the outside, you have your power button. This is a reset button. Screen lock, so it stops the screen from turning on you. Your volume, a headset jack, and a full-size USB. Okay, the other side is a SD card, which the SD card doesn't go all the way in. I think uh, this concerns me because uh, I feel like I'm going to break off an SD card on my leg. Here is your HDMI mini, another full-size USB, and a USB slash power. You'll see it has a little notch on it. This is also used for the power cord that they send you right here, which is a USB. You can't charge this tablet on USB. It doesn't work. So take a look, open this up. Okay, power the sucker on. I can say that the boot time on this thing is just amazing. And I can't push the power button. Okay. Looking at this thing, uh, you have a full-size keyboard. There is your home row. So the touchpad, which works good, except for my left click on this, it seemed to have sunk in. I've only been using this a week. Don't push it hard, but it's sunk in for some reason. So I don't know if the quality of these, this touchpad is very good. Also, another thing I've noticed, and this may just be this one, maybe Best Buy sent me a used, uh, gave me a used one. The screen occasionally flickers when you're watching videos. Uh, you know, distorts, has lines running through it. Looks like uh, it's going bad. So that was kind of depressing. But other than that, um, I haven't seen the issue. Let's go ahead and log in. Okay, right now we're using the benchmark program, user benchmark. Um, I did play around with a uh, basically Intel's or Intel kind of overclocking program, but since this thing has no fan inside, I opted to not turn it up. And whatever I changed on it, I didn't get that much increase due to probably the, it's probably at the maximum power output that this little thing can produce. Flying, um, I flew from Maryland to Texas and I had this on battery power for about five hours. When I got done or back to a charger, I had probably about 50%, 45% battery life. So I can not say the battery life is, is really good on it. Um, it. I was running the display at very low re uh, brightness and uh, also I did have airplane mode on. So I wasn't using a lot on it, but it seemed to have an extremely long battery life. Looking here at this uh, laptop, you'll see that the performance results are incomplete. This is due to this program doesn't seem to recognize the SSD hard drive. <laughs> but the processor is at 54%, so 
it is in the, the orange. This is what I was looking for. The graphics are still low at 5.56%. And um, your Intel Core, you see it's the M5 processor. Intel graphics. Uh, well, this is performing above expected. Of course, I did tune this up. And this is performing as expected for this graphics card. Samsung hard drive did not uh, make the report. And then your memory, which is performing below as expected. Um, I've updated the BIOS on this, and that didn't seem to help but our memory latency on this is not bad. Let me pull up a task manager. You'll see that Firefox is once again consuming most of our resources on this thing as far as memory. And the processor, which uh, this one, it does not seem to run maxed out like the other ones I've reviewed. But as I said, that I'm getting some flickering through this uh, screen as I'm doing video or playing videos. I can run my video editing software on this computer and it doesn't have a problem. But uh, the touchpad and the screen flickering really worries me so it's going to go back. If you uh, have any suggestions on what I could have done better, please tell me in the, the notes below. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit that like button. Thank you guys and have a wonderful day.